The next step of definition for each iMachining operation is the selection of the milling levels. Switch to the Levels page of the iMachining Operation dialog box. The Levels page enables you to specify the Z levels at which the tool movements are executed. The default input values of the positioning levels parameters are the CAM part values that were specified in the Coordsys Data dialog box. The default start level value is equal to the clearance level value of the coordinate system chosen for the operation. The clearance level defines the Z level to which the tool retracts when it moves from one cut to another. Safety distance defines the distance to the upper level at which the tool starts moving at the Z feed rate calculated for the tool. Movements from the clearance level to this height are performed in rapid mode. In the milling levels area, Solid Cam enables you to define the milling levels using the solid model data. Click the upper level button. The Pick Upper Level dialog box is displayed. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, select either the top face of the stock model or the top face of the target model since both surfaces exist on the same Z level. Click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the Pocket Depth button and select the bottom edge of the target model as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection and display the iMachining Operation dialog box. The upper level parameter defines the Z level at which the machining starts, and the pocket depth parameter defines the Z level at which the tool shall machine to. Note that the milling levels fields have changed to red. This is because the values are associative to the picked entities, and if the model changes, these associative values will also change. You can also define a delta depth to control pocket depth even further and perform machining deeper than the part bottom edge. Set the value to negative 0.76 millimeters. The direction of the delta depth measurement is represented by the arrows next to the input field text box with a corresponding positive or negative symbol. It is also represented graphically by the illustration at the lower left corner of the iMachining Operation dialog box.